I will read the, <coughs> the verse translation purport from the sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita as it is. This is verse number 35, 6.35. Hmm? Yes. Shri Bhagavan Vacha. Asamshayam Mahabaho. Mano Durni Graham Chalam. Abhyasena to Kaunteya. Vaira gain at a grihate. Shri Bhagavan Vacha. Asamshayam Mahabaho. Mano Durni Graham Chalam. Abhyasena to Kaunteya. Vaira gain at a grihate. Shri Bhagavan Vacha. Asamshayam Mahabaho. Mano Durni Graham Chalam. Abhyasena to Kaunteya. Vaira gain at a grihate. Translation purport by his divine is Abhay Charnara in the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Mahaprabhu. Shri La Prabhupada Ki Jai. Translation. Lord Shri Krishna said, O mighty armed son of Kunti, it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind, but it is possible by suitable practice and by detachment. Purport. The difficulty of controlling the obstinate mind is expressed by Arjuna is accepted by the personality of Godhead. Sorry. As expressed by Arjuna, is accepted by the personality of Godhead. But at the same time, he suggests that by practice and detachment, it is possible. What is that practice? In the present age, no one can observe the strict rules and regulations of placing oneself in a sacred place, focusing the mind on the super soul, restraining the senses and mind, observing celibacy, remaining alone, etc. By the practice of Krishna consciousness, however, one engages in nine types of devotional service to the Lord. The first and foremost of such devotional engagements is hearing about Krishna. This is a very powerful transcendental method for purging the mind of all misgivings. The more one hears about Krishna, the more one becomes enlightened and detached from everything that draws the mind away from Krishna. By detaching the mind from activities not devoted to the Lord, one can very easily learn Vairagya. Vairagya means detachment from matter and engagement of the mind in spirit. Impersonal spiritual detachment is more difficult than attaching the mind to the activities of Krishna. This is practical because by hearing about Krishna, one becomes automatically attached to the Supreme Spirit. This attachment is called Par Isha Anubhava, spiritual satisfaction. It is just like the feeling of satisfaction a hungry man has for every morsel of food he eats. The more one eats while hungry, the more one feels satisfaction and strength. 
Similarly, by discharge of devotional service, one feels transcendental satisfaction as the mind becomes detached from material objectives. It is something like curing a disease by expert treatment and appropriate diet. Hearing of the transcendental activities of Lord Krishna is therefore expert treatment for the mad mind. And eating the food stuff offered, food stuff offered to Krishna is the appropriate diet for the suffering patient. This treatment is the process of Krishna consciousness. Om Ajnana Timidanda Sigyana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupaha Kadamai Ham Dadati Svapadantikam Vande Aham Shri Guru Ho Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavaham Shcha Shri Rupam Sadrajata Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sabhaitam Sabhadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Radhita Shri Vishakhan Vitam Shcha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale Shri Vade Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswade Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shundavadi Paschatade Shatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gauravishena Maha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Tita Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanta Nagaurang Giradhi Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Taru Vyascha Krapa Sindhu Vyayevacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Galadhara Shivasati Gaur Bhakta Vrinda हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुकम करोति वाचानं बंगुम नंगायति ग्रीम यक्रपा तमहं वंदे श्री गुरु दीन धारिनं हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस ऑन दिस संडे मॉर्निंग we are discussing something on how to cultivate devotees in Krishna consciousness. And first of all, we also want to become devotees. So how to cultivate ourselves, uh, that's a very important uh, part of it. And then when we feel nourished, when we feel uh, enthusiastic in Krishna consciousness, we will naturally want to help others to become Krishna conscious. When you have something good, you would like to share with, uh, it with others. Like sometimes you have a good news to share, then you want to share it with others. So when you are happy in Krishna consciousness, Sri Prabhupada says, happy devotees are the best preachers. They don't need to do anything. Just be around and their happiness, their excitement, their enthusiasm rubs over others. Their aura, you know, touches others. And whoever comes in touch becomes a devotee. One such a devotee, today we are going to have a Ratyatra festival. Kids Ratyatra. Sri Prabhupada began this Ratyatra in San Francisco. Right? And when Prabhupada was in San Francisco, one person who became a devotee was Jayanand Prabhu. And Sri Prabhupada, so he was the one who assisted Sri Prabhupada in making the Ratyatra cards, huge Ratyatra cards. Prabhupada would Prabhupada earlier thought that we would make it on you know, some flatbed trucks, American trucks. But then he was the one who carved chariots, you know, wooden chariots for Prabhupada. <clears throat> Later when he left his body, Srila Prabhupada instructed all his con devotees, it's a law in his con, that on the Jagad, wherever, in whichever town, Jagannath, Baldev, Subhadra are on the chariot and they are doing Rathyatra, on the Jagannath's cart, Jayanand Prabhu's photograph is always kept along with Prabhupada. Right? So he did such a special, very, very special service for Srila Prabhupada. But this one devotee, right, uh, Vishwaka Prabhu, who has written this book, the seventh Goswami, he calls Jayanand Prabhu like that. And he says, this personality, his devotional service was so attractive. 
he would wherever he would go everyone would want to help him if jayanand is a devotee if jayanand is a hare krishna <coughs> if jayanand is a hare krishna then hare krishna must be nice imagine that kind of huh? and his one time when he was working on the chariots one 19 year old boy who was passing by on the street he just called him come here come here please come can you help me what do you want me to do and he told this 19 year old boy these are few nails can you hit the nails into the plank okay and he hit the nails into the plank wow it seems you are you know you are gifted with this talent would like to help me a little more so yeah please tell me he continued helping and all throughout jayanand was talking about krishna talking glorifying shri prabhupad and this person is getting to you know hear everything and then in between would come prasad he would also offer him prasad and this 19 year old boy while leaving he said you have some more work so yes i have a lots of work lot so shall i come tomorrow he said yeah please come tomorrow <laughs> this boy started coming day after day after day and then when prabhupad arrived this boy was taken to prabhupad this boy prabhupad made him the temple president of the temple when he was 20 years old hi when he was 21 prabhupad offered him sanyas and prabhupad and this devotee prabhupad i am very young prabhupad said, you are not the body your spirit soul prabhupad offered him sanyas you know who is this person that's jay pataka swami maharaj maharaj we we've, we've got jay pataka swami maharaj how no big preaching one devotee he is so happy in <laughs> he is so happy in the practice of krishna consciousness his happiness rubs on and we get home we get jay pataka swami maharaj imagine from from whom jayanand prabhu who was always shy he would never agree to give classes he would never agree to talk but whomever he meets wherever he meets it affects others right and looking at jayanand prabhu prabhupad said we need one sincere soul like so shri prabhu said we need one sincere soul like and if the temple is full of such sincere souls imagine what will happen how many birds like how many birds will come here how many birds in the sense how many people will come here right attracted to see wow, who would not like to be with such people who are happy with what you know in what they are practicing they are deriving that nourishment from what they are practicing and their presence is itself preaching right how do you we want happy devotees we want more devotees but more devotees come because the present ones are happy in their krishna consciousness right so yes we we should have many uh, you know seminars happening and you know sessions taking place and lot of follow up and lot of uh, you know things going on like that but unless devotees are happy themselves they are experiencing the bliss of krishna consciousness you will fall. when they are experiencing the bliss in krishna consciousness new people when they come in they also want to become like that right so the verse that i have chosen for today krishna is especially saying there is something that needs to be done in our own life and in the lives of those whom we are preaching then that's called proper cultivation of people Hmm? So, <clears throat> in this section of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna told Arjuna, "Bandhuratmanas dasya yenat mai vatman hajita anatmanas tu shatrutve varte taat mai vartmani." Krishna said, "See, the controlled mind is the best friend, and the uncontrolled mind is a worst enemy." So, what is sadhaka supposed to do if we want to practice spiritual life? the most important part of it is first learn to control your mind the mind loves to go haywire the mind loves to go run all around right you are like in the school the teacher would say physically present <coughs> mentally <coughs> absent right we may be sitting here but it may happen it, it could be possible that we are at jagannath puri no <laughs> how oh, rath yatra is happening there how rath yatra happened there how it 
how it must have been. The mind is so powerful. Mind is so powerful. Krishna says the yogi should be able to control the mind. Right? And make the mind his friend, his or her friend. An uncontrolled mind is the worst enemy. Now Arjuna says, Krishna, okay, please repeat behind. Chanchala he manaha Krishna. Chanchala he Pramati pal palavadridam. Tasyaham nigraham manye. Vayor iva sudushkaram. So, what is Arjuna's answer? Krishna, you are telling me to control the mind. Oh, this mind, Arjuna says four things about the mind, four adjectives. Arjuna says chanchalam. What is chanchalam? Restless. This mind is restless. It's, it's restless means it will not stick to one thing for a long time. Right? It, it takes one thing, it will accept something and a very next moment it will reject it. To accept, reject, ac reject, accept. Right? Mind keeps on doing that. And back in India for Chanchala we have an example in an animal which is a monkey. Jo man ki sunta hai wo man monkey is the monkey so what is the and, and those of you who have been to Vrindavan there are so many monkeys and then you get to see them and you are like can you not sit steady no the monkey cannot do it the monkey has to do something and the monkey is very mischievous monkey will not sit at one place for long so Arjuna says my mind is like a monkey. If Arjuna's mind is like monkey, then our mind... Imagine. Right? Which, which animal to compare it to? <laughs> so Arjuna is saying my mind is chanchalam. Chanchalam hi manaha krishna. Then he says pramadi. It is mad. Mad means mad. Pramada means sufficiently mad. Prakrishna upena mad. Right? So now imagine a monkey who is mad. Right? Prabhati Balvat. And now this mad monkey is very strong. Right? And more than that, he says, Dridam, it's obstinate. So the example is given a monkey who got a liquor bottle and drank it full. Puri chadali must. Bandar mein. Right? A bandar mein sharap chadai. Right? Full to usko, kya bolte Bombay ki bhasha? Tun. Tun ho gaya. Full tun ho gaya. Bandar pura tun ho chata ya hai. Aur bandar hai pahela. Then, pura shrap se dut nashe mein hai. Aur abhi isko bichu kaate. Us bandar ko. The monkey is bit by a scorpion. Itna painful experience hota hai us scorpion bite ka. Wow. Those of you who have been in Indian, India, Indian villages and all, you get scorpion bites there. Right? So a story is there. Death, how much pain happens at the point of death? It's like 40,000 scorpions biting at the same time. And a story is there for it. One time there was a sadhu. This sadhu was peacefully sitting under a tree and you know doing his meditation. One mad elephant was coming towards him. And the sadhu said, I didn't do anything. Why is this elephant troubling me? <laughs> and all that the sadhu could do was run. And the elephant is running behind. And the sadhu understood, I cannot climb, I, if I climb the tree, the elephant is going to uproot the whole tree only. There is no point climbing up the tree. What do I do? He saw a cave. And the sadhu entered the cave. Right? And hid himself. But the elephant also was very nasty. The elephant sat outside the cave. <laughs> I never will leave this guy. And then the elephant decided, I want to do something. The elephant pushed its trunk inside the cave. Kidar gaya? Where is that guy? Where is that guy? The sadhu was trying to save himself. At that very moment, he saw a scorpion. Oh. If I remain in the cave, the scorpion will bite. If I try to go out, the elephant will kill. Krishna, what is kya din dikhadiya What is this day? Is it my last day in this body? 
and at that very instant the elephant who was trying to pull put its trunk inside the trunk went very close to the scorpion and the scorpion bit the elephant and what happened the scorpion aaj ka kaam ho gaya he wants to bite some so something something has to he wants so the scorpion went away but the elephant was not moving now what do i do after some time because the elephant was not moving the sadhu decided let me somehow try to get out of the cave it seems the elephant is sleeping now the sadhu tried his best to come out from one corner but sadhu slipped and his hand went on the elephant but rather than the hand remaining on the elephant's body it literally went in to the elephant elephant's body right why the sadhu remember oh the scorpion bite was so dangerous so poisonous the enter elephant ka body gal gaya hua tha usko the body is like melted the scorpion bite was so dangerous now we are comparing the mind to first the monkey the monkey which is drunk and now the third thing that happened with the monkey is what happened is bit by a scorpion and the fourth thing is now when the monkey is jumping the monkey steps on a burn uh, steps on a burning log of wood now what do you expect this monkey to do right that's what our mind is that's what people bring in when you are trying to cultivate them right arjuna is saying krishna i cannot control this mind you tell me to control a storm a raging wind i can stop it huh? i can stop why you but i cannot control this mind and today's verse that we have taken is the answer that krishna gives to arjuna you can go to the verse go back to the verse yeah see the shri bhagavan uvach krishna is answering the first word krishna says is a samshayam samshaya means doubt a samshaya means there is no doubt arjuna so krishna agrees with what arjuna is saying in terms of the power of the mind that the mind you know is very powerful the mind is very obstinate the mind is mad right? and the mind is restless asamshayam arjuna and the second thing krishna agrees with arjuna is it's not going to be easy to control this mind asamshayam mahabaho this name arjuna got mahabaho when he got the pashupati astra from lord shiva in mahabharat the huge section right uh, there is a natya also written in sanskrit kirata arjuniya huge 18 cantos of a, you know a, a drama in sanskrit the entire thing is only about what happened between krishna sorry about what happened between arjuna and lord shiva how lord shiva agreed to bless arjuna with this weapon pashupati astra and because he could get even that astra from lord shiva arjuna got this name mahabaho so krishna is in yes arjuna you are mahabaho i i accept asamshayam very difficult to control this mind <clears throat> but then krishna says mano durnigraha chalam very difficult to control this mana but then krishna adds two things it is possible it cannot be done like that at at your command but something needs to be done by which the mind will come under control krishna says two things abhyasena tu kaunte tu yes it can happen abhyasam what needs to be done abhyasam means practice regular practice and krishna is saying the second part of it is vairagena cha grihate hai you will also need vairagya hai so regular practice and detachment will help you to do what to control this mind abhyasena tu kaunte vairagena cha grihate so yesterday in the bus i was sharing with all of you uh, i was asking a question if you have seen a rocket launch 
right? Why does the rocket, how is the rocket, what makes it possible for the rocket to go beyond the gravitational pull of the earth? The rocket is going up, right? Why, why is the rocket going up? Because the rocket is going up. Right? <laughs> why, why are we... <laughs> he was not there. Right? Because what is the rocket behind the rocket? You have to do the practice. 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 You will have to put energy there. Right? Not a wishy-washy job. You will have to be very serious about your abhyasa. Right? And more than that, the rocket just doesn't go outside the Earth's gravitational pull because there is a fire behind. The rocket also has to take care that it drops off empty cylinders. Vairagya will also have to be cultivated. You will need detachment. As you practice Krishna consciousness, you will realize there are some empty cylinders that you are unnecessarily carrying along. Drop those empty cylinders which reduce your speed now. You will, you will have to identify, right? Like, uh, you, will, you will have people coming to Krishna consciousness, they come to temple, they want to practice spirituality, and then you tell them, see, try to wake up early and chant Hare Krishna. But I like to sleep early morning, only look super super can eat kitna Right? Early morning, you know, that sleep, that is your empty cylinder now. Right? Drop it off. Drop that empty cylinder. Sometimes people will come with some habits which are no more conducive for Krishna consciousness. Those are your empty cylinders now. Drop it. If they do not drop it, so we generally tell everyone. No meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex, and no gambling. Shri Prabhupada gave these four, you know, regulative principles to us. What are these? These are connected to some empty cylinders, right? Some bad habits of this world, right? These have to be dropped off. So, uh, how to cultivate people in Krishna consciousness? We should know. Krishna is saying two things. You have to teach them abhyasa, and you have to teach them vairagya. Both has to come. Right? So if we take care of their abhyasa, we take care of their sadhana, we teach them, chant Hare Krishna regularly, you come for the hearing program, like Prabhupada is saying in the purport, uh, so Prabhupada says, this, the first and foremost of such devotional engagements, Right? When you want to cultivate people in Krishna consciousness, what should be done? Prabhupada is saying, the first and foremost of such devotional engagement is hearing about Krishna. Shrunvatam svakatha Krishna punya shravana kirtana hridayantastohi abhadrani vidunoti surhitsatam How do you become purified? The more you hear about Krishna, right? Krishna's pastime, the more you hear about Krishna, the more your heart becomes pure. So, this process of hearing proper saying, the more one hears about Krishna, the more one becomes enlightened and detached simultaneously. The more you hear about Krishna. So, part of cultivation should be, <clears throat> the most important part of cultivation program should be, how much are you able to create avenues where devotees can hear about Krishna? Right? This hearing process of Shri Prabhupada gave in the morning a Bhagavatam class, in the evening a Bhagavad Gita class. What is it for? Right? Uh, the temple resident devotees can do it all the more nicely. But everyone should be offered some program where they hear about Krishna. Chanting Hare Krishna itself is hearing about Krishna. We hear Krishna's name, we chant the holy name and we hear it. This Shravanam process. Right? So we offer them chanting, we offer them avenues where they can hear from Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavatam. And Prabhupada is saying both has happened. Abhyasa bhi ho gaya, and because Krishna is all attractive. Right? Pralhad Maharaj in the seventh canto of Bhagavatam says, when Hiranyakashipu asks him, 
how come you are attracted to krishna so much what gives what 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 causes this attraction in what has caused this attraction in you so prahlad maharaj says my situation is like iron filings some pieces of iron the iron filings are never taught to get attracted to a magnet how to get attracted to a magnet so natural iron has to get attracted to magnet but then there is a condition when iron doesn't get attracted to magnet when is that when the iron has got rust so prahlad is saying my situation is i helplessly get i am attracted to krishna because there is no rust on prahlad what is happening with us why am i not attracted to krishna if krishna is all attractive i am not attracted to krishna because you know my heart is rusted my heart has dirty things which makes me attracted to some temporary objects of this world how many things we picked up in this world thinking wow ye mil gaya ya mil gayi hai bas ho gaya kitne gaane gaaye the batao hai na main pagal hu main deewana hu क्या क्या नहीं बन गया कोई कोई <laughs> और सब कुछ आके बताते हैं मैं पागल हो गया वी गेट वी हैव गॉट अट्रैक्टेड टू सो मेनी थिंग्स बट येट वी डोंट गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू कृष्ण व्हाई बिकॉज वी अवर हार्ट हैज गॉट दैट रस्ट वी आर अट्रैक्टेड टू माया वी आर अट्रैक्टेड टू सिम टेम्प्ररी इल्यूजन बट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू कृष्ण सो प्रहलाद he is the son of hiranyakashipu but he is a pure devotee right so when we begin krishna consciousness we are something of a devotee but we should want to become a pure devotee where we are attracted to krishna and cultivating people in krishna consciousness means all that we are doing is helping them remove that rust from their heart <clears throat> shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in the shikshashtaka means is cheto darpana marjanam your chitta your heart or your mind is like is supposed to be like a mirror tora man darpana kehlaye suna your mind is like a mirror right so now if i stand in front of the mirror any mirror if i if i stand in front of the mirror what do you expect to see in the mirror the reflection of the body i should be able to see the body that my body i should be able to see there similarly the mind is a mirror what am i supposed to see there what should i get to see i should see krishna no not krishna what should i see my thoughts i should be able to realize that i am spirit soul who am i atma right so mind should clearly show me how i am how i was how i am a spirit soul right but if that is not happening now imagine i stand in front of the mirror and on the mirror is 200 km you know layer of dirt on the mirror 200 km layer of dirt what do you expect to see only dirt right similarly the mind our chitta is dirty our mind is dirty then i will see myself as a man a woman mother father uncle auntie and uh, you know employer indian pakistani britisher chinese all these are dirty things these are all wrong designations that i put on myself and i keep on adding them as i advance in my life when i was small i only knew mother father brother sister then some friends come and some and so many people come and throw designation hey tu ko sharam nahi aati tu bada bhai hai na matlab main bada main aatma hu bada bhai you are big brother now you are this you are employee you are you know you are the citizen of this country so many designations are thrown at me and whenever I, anybody asks me who are you i am an indian no you are spirit soul you are not an indian you are not a canadian you are not an american this is something that we can identify with but who are you 
द मिरर ऑफ माई माइंड इज सपोज टू डिस्प्ले माई एग्जिस्टेंस एज आत्मा बट वेन दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग एंड दर सो मच डर्ट ऑन इट वॉट नीड्स टू बी डन जस्ट एज द मिरर इफ इट हैज डर्ट द मिरर इज टू बी क्लीन सिमिलरली दिस माइंड हैज टू बी क्लीन द एंटायर प्रोसेस ऑफ कल्टिवेशन इज वी हेल्प पीपल अंडरस्टैंड देर आइडेंटिटी एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग देर आइडेंटिटी एंड रियलाइजिंग देर आइडेंटिटी इज वेयर कल्टिवेशन कम्स इन you make you give the knowledge but the knowledge is not yet realized till the time the realization happens the devotional service is very shaky people will come and people will go because they are not realized if i am atma and i am part and parcel of krishna my most natural position is to be loving and serving krishna unless they come to that understanding that realization jeeva krishna das yahi vishwas करलेता आर दुख नहीं मक्ति साहब ठाकुर वुड सो ऑफन मेक दिस कमेंट एज सून एज वी रियलाइज जीव कृष्ण दास आई एम इटर्नली सर्वंट ऑफ कृष्ण विश्वास यू आर फॉर्म फेथ इन दिस मक्ति साहब ठाकुर वुड से तार दुख नहीं देन नो मोर मिजरी ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड एनी मोर राइट सो कल्टिवेटिंग पीपल इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मीन वी हेल्प देम go from the stage of understanding to realizing right that i am spirit soul i am a servant of krishna and when, how do you help them how do, what is cultivation here you offer them two things abhyasa and vairagya right like when when anybody accepts initiation in iskon shri so prabhupad would ask them to take a vow give a vow to guru two things abhyasa was chanting minimum 16 rounds that was abhyasa part and following the four regulatory principles was the vairagya part right so before people come to the point of the stage of initiation seriousness initiation you know it shows that you are very serious about spiritual practice now but before they come to that stage a lot of time is spent in krishna consciousness before that and before coming to the stage of initiation that is the stage of cultivation we cultivate our heart the temple the preachers the shiksha gurus they help the practitioner to cultivate their heart in a manner that they will come to the stage of initiation someday and apply themselves all the more seriously in krishna consciousness so abhyasin to kaunte वैराग्यन से गृहते वॉट शुड यू डू कृष्ण सेंग टनिंग अर्जुन अभ्यास एंड वैराग्य सो वॉट शुड वी ऑफर टू पीपल वी शुड ऑफर पीपल एवेन्यूज वेर दे कैन डू देर अभ्यास ऑल द मोर नाइसली शिल प्रॉपर स्टार्टेड इस्कॉन टेम्पल्स इन वेरियस सिटीज वेर एवर प्रॉपर वुड गो प्रॉपर वॉन्टेड टू स्टार्ट अ टेम्पल वाय सो दैट स्पिरिचुअल अस्पायरेंट्स कैन कम एंड दे कैन प्रैक्टिस टूगेदर right so just as english has alphabets from a to z spirituality has alphabets from a to e a b c d and e prabhupad made this temple so that we can have we can we can understand what does a stand for b stands for c d e stands for what is a a stands for association right we offer shri prabhupad made the iskon made iskon temples for what that people can come and experience association of spiritual minded people proper to say those who are already devotees they are practicing krishna consciousness new people come in and they get to associate with devotees they see some living examples what is a practicing devotee how does a devotee look like what does a devotee do what does a devotee not do and shri prabhupada would say when they get association of devotees then they would like to become like devotees okay. so in the first canto of bhagavatam narad muni he is telling his story to vasudev about his three lives the first life was as a gandharva but then got cursed the second life 
he was born as a son of a maid servant and the third life is when when he became narada the one whom we know as narada right so he says in the second life when i was living in the village with my mother some four sanyasis they happened to visit i served them i i would be around them to hear how what do they talk and their interactions amongst each other was so attractive to me and narada says there the success of associating with these devotees was he says i got a desire can i become like them so success of association is when you associate with devotees any devotee and you feel inspired that inspiration is good if it if it brings that desire in you can i become like that devotee so a stands for association right b stands for books right so when people come in we should be able we should be having books bhagavad gita bhagavatam so many books shri prabhupada has given this is for what see so a a also is for because we are social and animals we need society prabhupada said i have created iskon society so a satisfies our need for a so, 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 social need it satisfies our social need b stands for book books what do books do they satisfy our intellectual need for a sadhaka the intellectual need is there the intelligence wants to get convinced there are doubts in my mind and the intelligence helps me overcome that doubt so unless intelligence is nourished if intelligence is not nourished the mind will stifle our progress in krishna consciousness by bringing in so many doubts right so b stands for books now c stands for chanting hari krishna now chanting works on this chitta the mind which i was saying which is like a mirror and is full of dirt now you chant hari krishna and while you are chanting hari krishna the process of meditation is to hear the chanting your own chanting the more you can hear your own chanting that much your heart is getting cleaned your mind is getting cleaned right so a help in this our social need b for intellectual c which is chanting hari krishna is for the mind and then we have a body and the body works because we are eating like right? the body is functioning because we are eating food proper saying the diet d stands for diet the diet is prasadam right so when we honor prasadam we don't eat prasadam we honor prasad right we offer our food to god and then we accept if i ask you this question why should you offer your food to god bhog lagate hain नैवेद्य दिखाते हैं और उसके बाद ही भक्त खाते हैं है ना जानवर कैसे खाता है जो मिल गया डाल दो मुंह में दैट्स एनिमलिस्टिक आई पेड मनी एंड आई इट दैट्स जस्ट बिकॉज एनिमल डिड नॉट आस्क राइट एंड यू पेड एंड यू टुक दैट डजेंट मेक यू बेटर देन एन एनिमल ह्यूमन ईटिंग मीन्स यू नो इट्स लाइक सेम यू नो मादर यूज अ पर्स देयर राइट यू हैव अ बैग और अ पर्स if i go past her and i put my hand in it and i take up take away some money what would all of you call me kitni jaldi hai dekho kitni jaldi hai ye wala answer dene mein kuch hi bolte the time nahi laga thief thief chore chore prabhu ji chore aap aap chore prabhu ji very good why am i a thief now this in the second instance i go and i ask her mother can i take some money from you now what will you call me good man ठीक है पूछ के किया राइट पक्का पहला व्हाई एम आई थिंक बिकॉज इट आई डिड आस्क नाउ माय क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज एवरीथिंग बिलोंग्स टू हू गॉड एंड इफ यू टेक एनीथिंग विदाउट परमिशन देन हु आर यू इफ यू ईट विदाउट ऑफरिंग टू गॉड देन हु आर यू स्टेम एव ही सह कृष्ण से जिंदगी का चोर है तुमने बिना भोग लगाए खाया चोर तुमने बिना नैवेद्य दिखाए खाया चोर 
यू वर सपोज टू टेक परमिशन फ्रॉम गॉड ऑफरिंग बोगा एंड देन एक्सेप्टिंग इट एज प्रसाद राइट नाउ समबडी विल से अरे मैंने रोटी सब्जी पूरी चपाती और क्या स्वीट सब रखा था प्लेट में आई केप्ट इट इन द प्लेट आई पुट इट फ्रंट और इन फ्रंट ऑफ द डेटीज और जब बाहर निकाला वो ऐसे ही था कुछ खाया नहीं किसी ने कुछ कम नहीं हुआ कुछ हुआ नहीं फिर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस वॉट यू ऑफर वॉज भोगा वॉट कम्स आउट इज प्रसाद वॉट इज द डिफरेंस कृष्णा से इन द गीता वेन यू ऑफर द फूड टू मी आई टेक अवे द कर्मा फ्रॉम इट आई टेक अवे द सिम फ्रॉम इट बिकॉज एवरी काइंड ऑफ ईटिंग एनी थिंग यू ईट नॉन वेज इज श्योरली सिंफुल पाप है यू हैव टू किल समबडी टू ईट यू टू मर्डर समबडी लिटरली इफ आई कैन यूज दैट वर्ड इवन वेजिटेरियन ईटिंग इज सिंफुल ईटिंग राइट द प्लांट हैज टू एक्सपीरियंस पेन but vegetarian eating is the most merciful eating but we as devotees we are not non vegetarians we are not vegetarians we are krishna tarians we eat vegetarian but we offer it to god and then we accept it krishna is saying i take away the sin from it and you get karma free diet right and that's how a devotee's life just by accepting the prasad from krishna our life becomes auspicious okay. and shri prabhupa so many times prabhupa will insist after your programs you should have some nice prasadam for everyone the more the more we honor prasadam the more we we get purified right the body gets purified by it. so a b c and d which one letter is remaining now e stands for engagement some seva right so cultivating anybody in krishna consciousness means you help them in abhyasa abhyasa means what a b c and d and the e engagement in some seva you offer them so that is abhyasa part the next is vairagya right the second aspect of what krishna is saying cultivating somebody in krishna consciousness means you help them practice detachment right like the devotees in temple will say can you give me can you just give half an hour in a week for some seva in the temple you know can you give, so this detachment of half an hour detachment i could have used it for my selfish purposes i utilizing the service of god right you create an environment where practice of the four regulative principles becomes tolerable i am not say easy tolerable right jala shishrada madha bhagwan ki shishrada gopal ki right so abhyasena tu kaunte vairagya na cha grihati and cultivation krishna consciousness means we we are able to create an environment where these two aspects and then some few things under that same abhyasa i said and vairagya okay i'll stop here anybody has any questions comments clarifications yes uh can the mic be sent we have the mic here on this table this board here Um, so my question is, you know, oftentimes, sometimes I've heard that it's important that uh, devotees fill their own cup first, so we look after ourselves in order to provide excellent care for the people that we're trying to cultivate. So I want to understand what is the balance between filling your own cup first versus being in a mode of service towards others. Where is the balance between both of those? I'm sorry to tell you, but Prabhupada would not agree with your philosophy. Prabhupada's way was whatever you have heard from Guru, go and repeat. Don't stop. By sharing what you have heard from Guru, your heart will get purified and others will get benefited. Otherwise, if we try to fill our own cup, the mind will always put that down. No, it's not enough. Wait for some more time. Wait for some more time. So Prabhupada said, I didn't know English properly. I didn't know how to interact with Westerners, but my Guru instructed me. I came here. and i i i tried my best right so shri prabhu would instruct his disciples also whatever you have heard from guru 
with faith you have heard now go and repeat whomever you come across if you only understand shri prabhupad one time when he was in vrindavan some people you know who were divedis trividis chaturvedis do ved padhe teen ved padhe char ved padhe you know these people had come to meet prabhupad and they were prabhupad asked them tell me who is god and he will it's a difficult loaded question hai to explain god you so many scriptures have to be read and how do we explain god is a very difficult subject and prabhupad called one small girl little saraswati or sham sundar pun malti mathi's daughter less than 5 years less, less than 5 years that time prabhupad called her and asked her tell me who is god and she said krishna is the supreme personality of godhead and prabhupad said she she knows more than you <laughs> and this saraswati little saraswati prabhupad said whoever comes to temple they are attending aarti saraswati will go you know krishna is supreme personality of godhead and she runs away and then she goes to the next person krishna is the supreme personality of godhead then she runs to the next guy krishna is the this is all that she knows and this is all that she repeats and prabhupad said she is the best preacher Prabhupada appreciated even Saraswati. All that she knew was one sentence: Krishna is the supreme personality of God. Prabhupada said because she is repeating, she she is repeating what she has heard. She is the best preacher. Right? Now, in terms of filling your own cup, right? What what is most important is we also practice Krishna consciousness. We just don't preach. We also practice. So. Prabhupada would not want us to stop. You go and preach, and that will also help you to practice. But we should also do our homework, as you are saying. Uh, our homework is we 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 just told you know. Tukaram Maharaj in Marathi he says, "Bola ya che varma sope karti karni karta tir kope." He is saying, "Oh, speaking is very easy. Practice is very difficult. Right? Walk your talk." When I am telling anybody, you should chant Hare Krishna. First, I should chant Hare Krishna. Mm-hmm. When I tell others, oh, you should have very high character. I also should be having very pure character. It should not happen that I speak one thing in public and I do something in private. Mm-hmm. Right? Unless I practice speaking is good, but at least philosophy can be spoken, right? And only speak. in terms of practice speak what you are personally also in, are imbibing in your life you are able to practice in your life tell others yes i am able to practice that's why i am telling what you cannot practice maybe you cannot instruct others to do because they will observe khud nahi karta mere ko bolta hai karne ko okay yes uh thank you prabhuji so regarding uh, the working on self i have realized that uh, like when there is issue when there is trouble job mein hota hai aag lagti hai and then aag lagani padti hai aag lagti nahi rocket ke piche aag lagti nahi lagani padti hai apne piche lagani padegi aag lagani padegi prabhu apne aap nahi lagti aisi अपने आप लगी उसमें एक्सीडेंट बोलते <laughs> उसको प्रैक्टिस नहीं बोलते सो फॉर मी पर्सनली इट बिकम्स लाइक अ साइकिल लाइक व्हेन आई एम इन लाइक इन बैड सिचुएशन आई गो बैक एंड चैंट बेटर बट देन स्लोली आई बिकम मोर कॉम्प्लेसेंट एंड देन द चैंटिंग द क्वालिटी डिटेरिएट्स एंड देन द साइकिल रिपीट्स सो प्रैक्टिस द ए पार्ट एसोसिएशन चैंट इन एसोसिएशन ऑफ डिवोटीज चैंट विद गुड चैंटर्स Look for the chance. Can I sit and chant? Somebody who is very sincere in that attempt, yeah. sitting with them, that inspiration will come. Hear more about good chanting. What is called good chanting? When you hear or read about good chanting, good meditation techniques, then you'll find you'll start getting taste in meditation, taste in your chanting. Where you will also say, "I want to chant more." That that's called that. That means you've got taste for it now. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yes. I know we're not supposed to be a uh, uh, vegetarian. Uh, if I'm eating non-veg, should I still offer to God before I eat it? Or? No. No. Okay. No. Because Krishna is saying in the Gita, "Patram pushpam phalam toyam." 
he is not saying andam matanam chikanam <laughs> right because he is saying patram pushpam phalam toyam if you want to offer anything extra it can be you know butter curd because krishna would speak it that he did not say in the verse <laughs> that extra if you want to add you can add what krishna likes so much that he could even steal that from his devotees houses gopis houses but man with his not otherwise krishna would have said it if krishna would have said it in the gita i would have offered no problem but krishna is not expecting that from us okay So one person one time said to Prabha, "The how do you know that Krishna is going is eating it? How can you be sure that Krishna is eating when you are offering it to Krishna?" And Prabha would answer it in so many ways. You know that that interaction Prabha says, "Krishna is saying in Gita that he eats. Should I believe Krishna or should I believe like a loafer like you?" <laughs> Krishna is saying I eat. That means Krishna is eating. And then Prabha said, "See." you think you can that a person can only eat with its with with, with one's mouth proper said the tree can eats eat with its feet the tree is eating with its feet if i can eat with my mouth and krishna can uh, sorry if the tree can eat with its feet why can krishna eat with his eyes why do you why do you kind of you know your conception of god is something you know it has to fit into my intelligence no god means it has god has to be beyond your intelligence right and proper to give the story of the the frog in the well right the frog, his friend from atlantic ocean came and his frog in the well said kitta bada hai tumhara ocean bahut hai how big is your ocean and the friend said hey ocean is very big and the frog in the well is saying twice my well five times of my well hundred times of my well and the friend said you cannot compare atlantic ocean to your well right he said then i don't accept there is anything called ocean so we also try to fit god into our intelligence kaise hota are hota hai wo karke dekh lo na phale na parichay the so many are honoring prasadam and see how what transformation is coming in their life you try to honor prasadam and you will see it you will see the difference normal food and this food right even the food you eat at the restaurant and the food that your mom, mama brings to you is there a difference yeah, yeah. See? even there is so much difference because there is so much love involved there how much more when we involve krishna right okay yes you have the mic yeah. prabhu ji i have seen that uh, uh, you said that uh, when people associate with other devotees mm -hmm. they develop the desire to become like the devotees mm -hmm. uh, but i have seen that, that that desire happens only in people who have some humility but only 50% of the people and other people <coughs> don't develop that desire okay is that true possible it can it, it is possible but then how do devotees present themselves mm. do they present like genuine devotees sincere devotees mm. see what would you like to drink dirty water or pure water sure you not buy dirty water right you always prefer pure water everyone likes purity and a devotee's life is so pure devotee's eating is pure devotee's talk is pure devotee's dealings are pure everyone likes purity why would people not get attracted to a pure person 1926 They, these hippies were in their teens, and their mantra was, "Don't trust anybody above above thirty. Can you believe? It? Don't follow anybody above thirty." They were following and giving, the, surrendering their lives to Shri Prabhupada. Seventy-year-old man. Why? His purity. Right? And whole world changed. Everywhere Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna is going on. To the point in India, Devanand made a movie only. Hare Krishna, Hare Ram, Dham, Haro, Dham. Right? Imagine, it affected so many that time, because one person's purity. Everyone likes purity, and if as devotees we are practicing purely, whoever comes in touch with you will get affected. We want purity, right? Okay, shall we start? Ask me another question. Give it to me. The last one. I just wanted to ask. Uh, initially, when people come to the temple, they have a lot of enthusiasm. You know, they'll be involved in a lot of services. 
let me do this, let me do that. But over the time, the enthusiasm is lost mm. or it becomes more mechanical and then, you know, your mind plays this trick. Ah, maybe I've done so much, let me go tomorrow. It's okay if I skip today. It's okay if I skip this seva. Mm. I mean, it, it should go up, but it goes down the graph. So how do we go up instead of going down? Okay, so generally people love to do sevas and, uh, you know, I selflessly did something in my life for God, for others, it's very nice. But unless that seva is backed by sadhana, right? very soon that seva will also be seen as burden. Right? But when I understand, when, when I am doing my sadhana nicely, when I chant nicely, chanting Hare Krishna means the meaning of the mantra is I am praying to Krishna, please engage me in your service. And the more you chant nicely, the more you can see your seva, seva's connection with Krishna. Right? So your sadhana should nourish seva. Initially people come, they love to do seva, but that seva will become burden if it is not being nourished by the sadhana. So we should not only be eager to engage people in seva, we should also see what is their sadhana. How are they doing their sadhana? When the sadhana is going on and chanting Hare Krishna is going on very nicely, the reading hearing is nice, then their seva also will go on for whole life. They will not be a flower pot devotee Prabhupada would say. Diwali Mautar, kithar gaya? Flower pot. Prabhupada called flower pot devotees. They come and they go away. Their seva, they want to do seva, but they don't back it up by sadhana. Okay? Thank you very much. Shrimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai. Shrimad Prabhupada ki jai. Tai Gaur Devanande. Tai Gaur Devanande.